In Genesis, we read that God walked and talked with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day in the Garden of Eden. It was a time of intimacy with their Creator. I bet God shared all sorts of things with them. What the expanse of the universe was really like. How He dreamed up water. What the relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit was like all the different types of angels, what heaven looks like. I mean, honestly, my mind can just go absolutely wild with the possibilities of what they discussed on their daily walks. But now that sin has entered the world and we don't get to walk and talk with God in person like Adam and Eve did long ago, it can feel lonely deep in our hearts not to experience that intimacy with our creator. It's what we were created for, to know God deeply and to enjoy him forever. But I have really good news. Just because we don't walk and talk with God down the street or grab a cup of coffee with him at Starbucks, he has created many, many ways for us to talk to him throughout the day. And here's what's even cooler. He still talks back. We have three layers to ourselves as humans. The outer layer is our physical body, our hair, our skin, our teeth, our nails, Our second layer is our soul, which is our desires, our personality, and our will. And our third layer is our innermost layer. That's our spirit. This is where the Holy Spirit lives once you become a born-again believer. It's through the Holy Spirit in our innermost core that we can communicate with God, which is what you've probably heard of as prayer. Though prayer is one way we can talk to God, it's not the only way. We can also talk to God through worship, through music and dancing and praise. If you've never prayed before, it can feel kind of weird to get started, almost like you're kind of talking to the air. That's a very normal feeling. I definitely felt that way when I began practicing prayer. And honestly, that's exactly what you have to do. Practice prayer. You can pray to God about anything. There's no script. There are no rules. There's no right or wrong way to do it. He is just going to be so unbelievably excited that you want to spend time with him. I actually believe that he led you to this very video because he wants you to start talking to him more often. Start by talking to God like a friend. Tell him what you've been up to, what's on your heart, what you're concerned about, what's been making you laugh lately. Don't be surprised when you feel a little spark in your spirit when you share something funny with God. I've learned that the Holy Spirit has quite the sense of humor and he loves to laugh. But here's the thing, and I'm getting choked up thinking about this. He also cries with us. God grieves with his children. He grieves with you. When you're sad, tell him. Pour it out to him and then just close your eyes and wait. You are going to feel this sense of peace, a wave of warmth, of love will flow over you and you will know that your father hears you and sees you. I have two resources that I want to share with you to help you begin talking to God. The first is my video about prayer journaling here on YouTube. I'm going to link to it right here. It will teach you how to write out your prayers to God, which is something that I do almost every day. The second is my free 21-day video devotional series called Fitness in the Father. We're going to study fitness of the mind, fitness of the body, and fitness of the spirit all for free at fitnessandthefather.com. Also, stop what you're doing right now and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my new videos. And thank you for watching. God bless you as you begin the exciting journey of talking to your creator.